What's up, family? Today we're about to talk about the first black poet, Lucy Terry Prince. The beautiful woman known as Lucy Terry Prince was kidnapped into slavery from Africa and brought to Rhode Island. Here she was brought by a Massachusetts man. And as a teen in 1746, Lucy witnessed the Native American ambush on a group of white settlers. From this experience, she wrote her most popular and only surviving piece of work called Bar's Fight. 10 years later, a free black brother named Abijah Prince purchased Lucy's freedom and married her. From here, they moved to Guilford, Vermont and had six children and a prosperous small farm. The neighbors from a slaveholding family tried to sabotage the Prince family with lawsuits and damaging the crops they depended on to survive. Being a skilled orator, Lucy represented her family before various courts, including Vermont's U.S. Supreme Court, becoming the first black woman to do so. She even delivered a three-hour address at Williams College on behalf of her son's admittance. Lucy died in 1821 at 91 years old. I mean, let's keep it real, y'all. Her life is impressive for anyone, let alone a woman who legally shouldn't have been able to read. She was dedicated to her family and immensely skilled in her craft. It's a shame that more of her work didn't survive, but as a great black woman, she will be remembered. Links are in the description as always. Like and subscribe. I will leave you with a section from Bar's Fight. August was the 25th, 1746. The Indians did in ambush lay some very valiant men to slay. Twas nigh unto Sam Dickinson's mill, the Indians five men did kill. The names of whom I'll not leave out, Samuel Allen, like a hero fout. And though he was so brave and bold, his face no more shall we behold. Eliezer Hawkins was killed outright before he had the time to fight. Before he did, the Indian see was shot and killed immediately 